coming in to the Cinders OHV area. This is Fire Service Road 776. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down this gravel road. It's pretty good maintained. You won't have a problem getting any size rig in here. And you'll stay on this road for approximately a mile to two miles. It just depends on where you want to camp at. You can go three or four miles if you want. But we're going to show you where we're staying at. Right now there are no fires, no grills, but you can have your little cooktop. But this road's a little bit washboardy, but not bad. Just go slow. It will get dusty out here. So be mindful if you're going to come out to the cinders and camp or park. You can stay out here 14 days right now, I believe. It's either 14 or 16. I really saw a sign that said 14 or 16, but I know it's at least 14. I think it said it rented up here at the, the oh, really? field, yeah. You'll have to excuse Finley, we're trying to, trying to get him yep. acclimated. Bentley's back day. in his little kennel. <laughs> we're trying some new stuff. He's moved to the back seat. Now, you cannot get through this road up to Sunset Crater Monument. They have blocked that off. And you can't get down here to the Cinders OHV from Sunset Crater. So if you're going or coming from the north, from Page, do not turn into Sunset Crater because the GPS will tell you you can go through there then cut around you. Do not want to do that. It's almost like they closed the road off, the you, access between the two lines. Right. You want to come down the bottom of the hill. It's going to be a divided four-lane highway up there if you're coming from the north. And once you get all the way down to the bottom of the hill, going south towards Flag, you'll see an area that you want to turn to the left. There's no sign there right now. Somebody said there used to be a sign, but right now there's no sign telling you to turn left. But once you get down the bottom of the hill where the four lane divided highway comes together, down to, you know, to four lanes and then a turning lane, you'll turn left. More than likely, you're going to miss it. But just go down to the gas station on your right, I don't know, maybe a mile down the road, turn around and come back, and then it'll be marked. If you're coming from Flagstaff, going up to the Cinders OHV, you uh, will turn right, right before you start going up the hill. And you there's a sign to sit down. Yeah, there's a sign there, but it's not very big. You just kind of kind of pay attention usually don't have any issues um, coming up from Flagstaff to see it couldn't you, you just put in couldn't you just put in um, Forest Road 776 and yeah that probably that be the best thing is Forest Road 776 but I don't know if 776 goes all the way around so you can try that but anyway you can see all the black stuff that's out here. That's old filter cloth before they put the rock down here probably years ago and then they come out here and grade it. And then they uh, they peel it up or pull the rock off. So don't worry about that. There's only a couple bad areas in here that you gotta slow down. Just a little bit of a washout. There's one of them right here. Now there are people camping over here to the left. And I do not think that you could have any off-road vehicles over here. Um, don't, there was a sign that said it. Don't guarantee it, but that's what we, uh, we're, our understanding is. So if you don't want to be around that, then you can park all over here. But what we're doing is we're coming down here and we're going to take, once you come in to really to the area where you can use your off-road vehicles, it, uh, we're off to the right. But we thought we'd show you that because we really never saw anybody from the start to the finish of coming in here. And it is kind of intimidating, especially if you bring a bring a bigger rig in here. You want to uh, 
be confident you can get in here. And there's no problem with clearances as far as uh, we've seen big 45 foot class A's come in and, and 50 foot toy haulers. So don't worry about that as far as, as it goes today. But you're gonna be coming up here to this sign where it actually starts of the trails. Now it's first come, first set up, but that doesn't mean somebody can't park right next to you. Happens all the time. They could park right next to you with a bunch of them and dust you out. So if you're coming down in this area, expect to hear a lot of noise. Expect to uh, a lot of dust in the air. Um, ain't nothing you can do about it other than pack up and leave. If you come on the weekend, you're really going to have uh, a lot of fun. But during the week, it's still not bad. But there's going to be a few out there. You're just going to have to deal with it, or you're going to have to pull up and, and, and leave. Now you can see the area directly in front of us is going to be a big open area up here that they ride out in but we're going to take the first right is where we're going to go this is going to be the first clearing you really come to on the right hand side and you're going to have to be kind of careful where you go up here because there are some loose places that you can get stuck at so if you got a big heavy rig or not a four wheel drive you know, you may want to walk it out and be careful. But there's a lot of them that go straight across up there. They'll go 70, 80 miles an hour. You can see where we're parked right over there in our fifth wheel. Because we know this road right here is hard. We were the only ones here for, for a while. And then wow. people started pulling in next to us. But there's a lot of area open, and you can continue down this little... It's really not a road, it's really a trail. So anyway, we come up right around this tree here, and this area over here to the right is pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty compacted. It'd be a little soft in certain areas where people come in here and tear stuff up or whatever. But they ride all around in here. We're parked out here because we want to get a lot of solar. And we're doing that so this is our little campsite right here and right in front of us is part of the tribe so it looks like there's some people out here hang around with the uh, Aja and pandemonia and uh, we won't name who they are we don't want to dox them but this is where we've been staying for almost two weeks but anyway, that shows you how to get in to the Cinders OHV area north of Flagstaff. Okay, well, this morning, uh, woke up a little bit windy. Hopefully the wind won't show up. I got a new microphone here. We'll see if it works. But we've been staying in this nice little spot for about a week and a half. Uh, there were some people... Uh, up over there, there's about three groups of uh, fifth wheels that was up here uh, over the uh, Columbus Day uh, weekend. Of course, they have all their side-by-sides, and kids had their toys, and they were just ripping and running out here, but that's what this is for. The cinders, the off-road, uh, you can call it the off-highway recreation area. All this area out here is open to ride. You can go up into the mountains and stuff. But we've had a nice little spot. Now, this is similar to BLM land or your national forest, um, which this is Coconino National Forest, uh, right outside of Flagstaff, north of the Flagstaff. But we've had a good spot. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, what to expect out here and there's really nothing you can do about it. You can go out and find the nice, quietest spot where you can be by yourself or you and another RV or whatever. And then all of a sudden things change. And especially out here on the weekend, 
things get kind of busy out here, so this is Thursday, so I think we'll head out today. But anyway, we were sitting there yesterday, just having a uh, good time, watching a little TV and stuff. And then uh, all of a sudden, people start coming in. And probably within two hours, this spot over here that had just one person filled up to about 15. And it's like anywhere, you can't expect privacy. You can't tell people, hey, you're too close, or you can't tell them that their music's too loud. You just gotta roll with the punches or pack up and leave. Now this particular group of people over here, some of you might recognize. You've got Terry and Scott, and you've got Aja. You got Jimmy. And you got some other folks that we've seen and, and camped close to before, but I don't recognize their, their rigs or their names. Haven't met them. And we didn't want to go over there and barge in. We weren't invited. Somebody had a birthday party. We don't know whose it is, but happy birthday to you if you're watching this. So to make a long story short, when you're out here boondocking, sleeping in a tent, sleeping in a prevost, you never know who's going to pull up or what's going to happen. It's still better than a campground as far as I'm concerned. They had a good time. They were out there banging their music last night, but they shut it off at a respectable time. And we just watched TV and turned the volume up a little bit and all's good. So, Mr. Bentley, Mr. Bentley, you ready to go and get something to eat? You want to go and get something to eat? Let's go get something to eat. So Bentley and I are going to go get some breakfast. And probably a couple of hours we'll pack up and then we're going to head out of here. And we're going to head west. We are going to get out of Arizona. I think most of you, if you're regular viewers, you know where we're going. Put it down in the comments below where you think we're going. But because today's Thursday and there's going to be more people coming in with side-by-sides, I see Aja didn't even bring her side-by-side. -side. So maybe they're just down here just to have a good time. But there's going to be more people coming in. And there's some other things we want to see between now and uh, one of our destinations. So anyway, that's just uh, something to talk about as far as boondocking goes. You could be by yourself or you could be thrown in the mix of a party. So you got to kind of roll with the punches. Suck it up buttercup sometimes. As Camo Dave says, I don't know, man. Well, I know. It's time to go. So, until next time, stop the madness. Stop the adventure. Kim's still in bed. Letting her sleep in this morning. And we'll move on to another adventure. See you down the road.